Israeli air defenses fail to intercept missile from Syria that landed near nuclear plant. The Israeli military is examining how its air defenses failed to intercept a surface-to-air missile fired from Syria that landed close to the Dimona nuclear reactor in southern Israel, the country's most sensitive facility. Initial reports said the projectile landed only 4 kilometers from the nuclear plant, but the closest pieces of debris were recovered some 30 kilometers away. The proximity to Dimona prompted speculation that Iranian forces or pro-Iranian militias based in Syria may have been behind the attack in an attempt to avenge Israel's recent sabotage of Iran's Natanz nuclear plant. However, according to military analysts, if the Syrians had wanted to attack Dimona, which is 200 kilometers from the Syrian border, they would likely have used more powerful weapons in their arsenal, such as Scud missiles. Israel said there was no damage despite an attempt to intercept the projectile. The Israel Defense Forces work to prevent a potential strike on critical assets in the state of Israel. A SA-5 model of surface-to-air missile was fired, said Defense Minister Benny Gantz. There was an attempt to intercept it, which did not succeed. The Israeli military claimed the projectile was fired at the same time as Israel was conducting airstrikes in southern Syria and was not directed at a specific target inside Israel. Residents of Jerusalem, 150 kilometers from Dimona, and at other locations in central Israel reported feeling an explosion, but it is not clear if this was caused by the impact of the Syrian missile on the ground or by the failed interception attempt.